Chances are you're viewing this program because your job involves some risk of exposure to lead. This risk is associated with many types of activities, including the manufacturing and recycling of lead acid batteries, sanding and stripping lead-based paint, repairing and servicing automobile brakes, welding or cutting old painted metal, manufacturing ceramics or electronics, and the smelting, refining, alloying, and casting of metals. To protect workers from the harmful health effects of these types of lead exposures, OSHA issued its lead standard, 29 CFR 1910.1025. This regulation sets limits on how much lead employees are allowed to be exposed to, and it establishes procedures employers must follow in order to reduce lead exposure in the workplace as much as possible. For example, before work can start on any project or process that involves lead, employers are required to develop a written compliance program. The program will describe all activities that could expose employees to lead and the compliance methods the employer will use to control that exposure. There are three general types of compliance methods, administrative controls, engineering controls, and personal protective equipment. Administrative controls include policies and procedures such as safe work practices for housekeeping and decontamination, employee training, and medical surveillance and removal programs. Engineering controls include physical and mechanical safeguards such as isolation and containment of a lead hazard area, mechanical ventilation with appropriate filters, and special vacuums for cleanup and decontamination. The third type of compliance method, personal protective equipment, is anything you wear to protect yourself when administrative and engineering controls alone can't reduce your lead exposure to acceptable levels. This might include overalls, respirators, gloves, hats, goggles, and face shields, whatever is appropriate for the job you are doing. Another key part of the compliance program is employee training. This will be provided before you start on any job that involves exposure to lead. The training will include information about the health hazards associated with lead exposure, the requirements in the OSHA lead standard, and the contents of your employer's compliance program. You will also learn how to properly use and maintain any PPE that you'll need to wear on the job. Your employer will make any of this information available to you upon request as well.